Okay, so we're standing several stories up above the platforms at Edinburgh Waverley. What is this door? Where does this go? <laughs> well, it's up on the roof. Let's go high speed. Up here, you can see quite a long way around. You're right in the middle of the city. Up here, this is the Balmoral Hotel, the old North British Hotel, the railway hotel, the railway station. Down here, this is where it gets fun. Above us now is the traffic. You can hear the roar of it above as the buses go above. And here it is. What a view, right in the middle of Edinburgh. This is the vast expanse of Edinburgh Waverley's remarkable glass roof. More than 20,000 glass panels renewed over the last, what, 10, 12 years or so? Where's the glass there? Absolutely vast, right in the heart of the city. This place is endless, honestly. There are ridges and furrows all over the place. There are ridges and furrows being the side of the roof this is done in. It's remarkable. Now, we're going to go now across the roof in this, one of these walkable cradles. Get in here and you can walk it across to give you safe access to the whole part of the roof. And just here you can see, of course, that magnificent dome of the travel centre. Because downstairs is the, is the booking office. But look, this is the top of the dome that so many of us know, right in the centre of Edinburgh Waverley Station. Look at that, from 1897. So this is the signalling centre down here, which is where all the signalling operations are controlled from now. So all this part of Edinburgh and a network. This is cracking access. Happy Christmas. Okay, great, you got me. My mind is officially blown. What a morning. Thank you so much to the team for taking me up there to that remarkable roof. I am going to file that entire morning under seriously impressed. Now, I always say, do look up when you're inside a historic building like Waverley, because the roofs are just so fabulous and spectacular. That is a classic example. Now, you'll be pleased to hear, I think, of the Waverley Master Plan, which is a massive, massive, massive project to rejuvenate the whole station area and do it with real care as well. In fact, the whole thing is being underpinned by a whole system of building conservation and improvements and adaptation as well of old elements. So to learn more about it, I urge you to make haste to the Network Rail website, which is networkrail.co.uk and search for Waverley Master Plan.